welcome to the latest update on my localism tour. I'm here in the beautiful city of Zurich, where I was visiting Lucas Rulli, a researcher who works for the liberal think tank Avenir Suisse. Our discussion was very interesting because one of the things we sought to find out uh, from uh, about the Swiss model was how you stop a tax race to the bottom. This is where different jurisdictions, local jurisdictions, compete with each other by constantly lowering the tax rate and as a result wealthy residents move across and businesses move across to the point where the whole system is made worse off. Strangely, what seems to be the mechanism that stopped it in Switzerland at least has been this equalization payment between the cantons. This is a transfer from wealthy cantons to poorer cantons. And in places like Canada, this has produced some pretty bad results where uh, you get l the incentive is to be lazy rather than to prosper, at least at a local government level. The way they get around it here in Switzerland is quite ingenious. What they do is they work out this equalization payment not on your actual tax revenues, but on your potential tax revenues. So if you could have taken 100 million in uh, tax in a year, but you chose to take 70,000 and pass the benefits to your uh, residents, what happens is you are still assumed to have taken in 100 million in tax. Uh, the result is that uh, you don't get a tax race to the bottom. There seems to be a stabilization of tax rates, and instead the cantons and indeed the communes compete uh, on services. They compete on uh, different factors, how much land is available for development, uh, how much regulatory efficiency in, is there, uh, what are the certainties in the regulatory process, and the results speak for themselves. Switzerland is regarded as the most competitive country in the world and there's certainly something in this uh, to be that to be learned from New Zealand uh, how you get uh, local government to actually be a active player encouraging local economic growth as opposed to a force that resists it. Today is my last day in Switzerland, tomorrow I'll be travelling to the Netherlands where I will be looking at localism in a unitary state. Uh, stay tuned for the next update which will be on the, on the initiative's usual channels on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube and indeed on our website. Thank you and tune in again.